Well, Frankie, ferocious was exactly that ferocious in taking out the opening event on the card. Hot and Treacherous was brave and I Love Her Bubbles was absolutely superb in continuing on her winning way. The man that had the best seat in the house was Cam Hart and I caught up with Cam following his commitments. Well, Cam, you did have the best seat in the house and there was some mighty horsepower going around. Congratulations to Jason Grimson, four winners on the card, but the opening event, Frankie Ferocious, was more than just ferocious. He was awesome. Yeah, he was incredible tonight. He's unreal. Uh, had a great feel uh, sitting behind him and, yeah, to run those kind of times that he did and do it under a hold up the straight, he was very impressive. 27-5 out, then 28-8, 27-1, then 25-8 on the way home. How did he feel over that last 400? Yeah, I sort of remember thinking to myself at the 200, this is sort of unbelievable the way he was doing it. The last 400, like 25-8, and he was still hard on the bit, at, you know, halfway up the straight. And yeah, it was pretty incredible, and um, yeah, it was nice to show his versatility as well. He was sat up at Melton, and he was able to do it on the front end tonight. Did he have more in reserve? Yeah, oh, for sure. I didn't pull the earplugs and um, still had a really good hold of him over the line. So, um, yeah, hopefully he should be able to go a bit quicker if we have to. But, yeah, he was awesome tonight. As far as the chariot's concerned, he's currently sitting on the second line of betting behind the Kiwi, Don't Stop Dreaming. For the Eureka, he's the clear-cut favourite. Yeah, it's um, obviously a very strong year. Don't Stop Dreaming's a superstar, um, you know, horse of, of marks. And um, obviously there's a going to be a great field. Um, all 10 horses that make the field this year, they're going to be very quality horses and it's probably going to come down to a bit of racing luck as well. Cam, you just mentioned his two different wins. Which manner do you think is the best for him? Um, it's hard to say. They're both incredible really. So it's um, yeah, nice um, you know, spoil to have, I guess you could say, um, that he's so versatile and makes my job easier depending on the barrier draw that he, he gets. As far as Hot and Treacherous is concerned, he looked beaten half a dozen times in the straight, but he dug deep and you certainly earned your driving fee there. Yeah, he was massive tonight. He, I sort of got him off the arm to try and cross um, Jimmy Rattray's horse and just fired up a little bit through the mid stages, a bit more than I would have liked, but he dug in so well uh, to win like that first up was very impressive and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll see him in the sprints. Uh, hopefully he's done enough to, to get his form a bit better with that win and, and he'll be, uh, yeah, hard to beat whatever he goes in. Yeah, so once again, Added fitness is going to be a bonus. Yeah, hundred percent. He's, um, you know, he had a bit of a break after the Inner Dominion uh, Carnival in Brisbane, and yeah, being first up, he's definitely going to take benefit from it. In the main sprint, you drove better. Zip it, a much improved run. First run back from a spell, he finished fourth on this particular occasion behind the Firefox, but the better Zip of old appeared tonight. Yeah, he was a lot better tonight. He just hasn't been right for a while, and. Um, yeah, he's a work in progress and Jace has been putting in a lot of work to try and get him back to his best and we all know how good he is on his on his best day and he's hopefully going in the right direction. I love her bubbles has now won four on end and she's going from strength to strength. Another very impressive all the way win. Yeah, she was awesome again tonight. I really love that mare. She's um, just a free rolling type. She's very tough and um, yeah, up the straight she was sort of waiting for something to race tonight and um, yeah, going forward hopefully she can get in some nice mares races in a couple of months and yeah, she should uh, count herself well. 26-2 that opening quarter, Cam, there was a couple there eyeing off that roll behind you knowing that you would be coming around so she did a bit of work early and then at the end of the race it's 27-4. Yeah, she went awesome. She gets out of the gate quite well and probably can hold her own with those ones outside but um, you just got to do too much work so they're pretty happy to sit on her knowing that she rolls along and yeah, she was very good at both ends tonight. Exciting time for, as far as the carnival is concerned for both you and Jason. Yeah, Jace has um, obviously got a great team in work and he's, he's built it up and he's got a lot of quality horses there now and just um, yeah, lack, lucky enough to be the one that gets to sit behind them. And he's peaking him all at the right time, which is the master stroke of an outstanding trainer, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of the best things um, you know about Jace's training is he is very good at peaking them for the right races and they're just coming into it nicely um, you know, a couple of weeks out from the big ones. You went to Aubrey on the Friday night, outstanding racing, very competitive, Looked to be a bumper crowd. Yeah, it was a great night. Love getting back to the Carnival Cups um, in the country tr tracks and great crowd there. They had the band on again and um, yeah, it was a great night. Had a pretty decent night on the track as well, which was good. I think you're going to be having a few more decent nights on the track when the Miracle Mile Carnival continues to roll around with Jason Steam. Thanks for joining us, Cam. No, thank you.